Hello fellow Pokemon trainers and fans, Prince Charminer here, and today we are back with episode number four. Wait, yes, four. <laughs> Lost count. Episode number four of our Pokemon Crystal Randomized Nuzlocke playthrough. In the last episode, you guys, sorry, I was looking at the camera to make sure. Are we lagging? Are we lagging? One, two, three. Three, two, one. Okay. Now we're good. Last episode, you guys, we took on Sprout Tower, got a couple of encounters, and now... It is time! It is time for us to exit this Pokemon Center. We deposited our last encounter that we got. If you don't know what it is, check out the last episode, episode 3. It is there in the playlist for our Crystal Randomized Nuzlocke. So that we can get caught up to everything that's going on. But before we take on Faulkner of the Violet City Gym, we're going to do a quick little party recap. So that way we can let you know what we're rocking with. Up first is our starter Topanga the Dragonair. She is level 11 and she has the same moveset that she started off with. Rap, Leer, Thunder Wave, and Twister. Not bad. Uh, could use some improvement, but hey, what are you going to do? Up next is our second encounter that we got, who barely got her second move, and it is Butter. Doo-doo Butter. Ursula the Artillery with Water Gun Constrict, and I just miss Squilliam. He used to have so many good moves. Ah, but last... No, no, I messed that up. Last... No, no, yeah, I was doing it right. Ignore me. <laughs> Last but not least, we got Peabody, our Celebi with Confusion, Heal Bell, Recover, and Leech Seed. And Peabody puts in tons of work. He is literally carrying the team. So, uh, we're level 11. Um, even with the 5% buff... 5%? 15% buff that we gave to the uh, opposing Pokemon, I think we should be fine. So... Ooh, let's... Oh, I forgot to talk to that one dude back there. Alright. So, today is October 3rd. Fun fact, it's the day that Super Smash Bros. for 3DS came out two years ago. And, uh... Tomorrow, we got some really good Pokemon news coming in. Apparently. I don't know. They said there's supposed to be some, some new info being dropped for Sun and Moon. So... I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that it's really... Like, something cool, like the Star Revolutions. I have a feeling they're going to talk about more Ultra Beasts, because we've already seen three of them. Ultra Beast 01 and uh, UB02, both um, Beauty and I forgot what the other one was. The Super Strong Mosquito. So, uh, I hope we see, like, the second uh, the second stage of the evolution, but I don't think they're going to. Um, if, if it's true what um, they said about Rockruff, because Rockruff, uh, his evolutions were given out, and he has two evolutions depending on whether you're playing Sun or Moon. Um, and they said that Rockruff shares um, a trait with the three starters. So everyone is thinking now, the starters are going to have, like, instead of just, you know, like Charmander, Charizard, no, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, they're going to go Stage 1, two different versions of Stage 2, which lead up to two different versions of Stage 3. But I think what they're going to do is they're going to release the starter evolutions, uh, their middle forms, tomorrow. And uh, we're going to find out in the game that they're going to have two final evolutions. Two different final evolutions. Um, it's not going to be like two middle stages, two final stages. It's going to be beginner, middle, and the two final stages. That's what I think at least. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm talking in the past. And once the news drops tomorrow, we're going to totally find out. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hey, hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me, if you believe, a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. Oh, well, that didn't... That wasn't very helpful at all. All right, so we only have two trim trainers, so... Uh, the keyword is Gus, uh, yada, yada, yada. Come on, I want to battle you. Let's get this over with. Only two gym trainers in here, so... We will be get, we're gonna be battling Falconer right now. We might just have to make a quick stop to the Pokemon Center, but uh, other than that, oh look at little Nidoran. Other than that, we're we're set to get our next badge and head on. We might even make it to uh oh what cave is that? Dark Cave? I can't remember. The cave right before Azalea Town. So uh, we're making some pretty decent progress here. Come on, Tabanga. Tabanga, use your Twister. Oh, and I uh, just remembered, I thought Dragon was physical in Gen 2, uh, but no, up until Gen 4, all Dragon-type moves are special, so let's see what Topanga's special attack is. 
23, oh, 27. Okay, you know what? Not too bad. About to use another Nidoran. Alright. Well, that's uh, very boring. But we can go ahead and we're going to one-hit KO this thing with a powerful confusion from Peabody. I like Peabody. I like him. I like Celebi. I've never used a Celebi before, which is awesome because it's like, you know what? In Soul Silver, the first LP that I kind of like did was not able to finish because it kept crashing on me due to the piracy bug that they put in. We had a Jirachi, which was the mythical Pokemon from Gen 3. And now we're playing Gen 2. We got the Gen 2 mythical Pokemon, Celebi. That is awesome. And like I said, a mythical Pokemon I don't have a lot of experience with because before the uh, amazing Nintendo Wi-Fi that they have uh, introduced in uh, Gen... It was Gen 4. Gen 4 was the ones that you could finally connect online for battling, for trading, and for event distribution. Before, you had to walk to the store, whether it was the Toys R Us or the actual like Nintendo store in Japan to get all the freaking distributions. But here in the good old US of A, we didn't get any. And it was awful. So, I never had a Celebi until the Celebi was distributed from the Pokebank, like what, two years ago already? And uh, they just distributed more Celebis from the 20th anniversary, and it's just like, wow, that's awesome. Also, today, October 3rd, it's October, and we have, there's tons of mythical Pokemon, now that we're on the topic of mythical Pokemon, there are a ton of mythical Pokemon you can get just in this month alone. Up until October 9th, if you go to the uh, Mystery Gift in either X and Y or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you put in the code 2016 Hoopa, it's all capitals, doesn't matter, so that's 2016 H-O-O-P-A, you can get the Mythical Pokemon Hoopa on every one of those games Did you, if you did not get it from the distribution that happened around the same time last year. It was back in November, though. Uh, also, if you missed out on getting a Dark Ride code from GameStop here in the U.S., if you go to the same way, you go to Mystery Gift, connect through the internet, and uh, obtain a Pokemon with a code, you can get a Dark Ride by putting in the code Dark Ride, so D A R K R A I two zero, and you'll get yourself a awesome Dark Ride. And finally, the last one you can get is the cult Pokemon Keldeo. So same old thing, you go through the Pokemon Mystery Gift. You're going to connect through the internet, but you're going to get this one through the internet. It'll say, like, get via loco, get with a code, and get with the internet, get get through internet, through the Wi-Fi, and uh, just connect to the internet, and hit yes, and you'll get yourself a Keldeo. So that's three mythical Pokemon that you cannot catch anywhere else, no matter what, unless you use cheat codes, but where's the fun in that? All right, enough of the, the promotions. It's time to get our gym battle underway, but first let's save. Because as the King Nappy says, only you can prevent lost save data. But, uh, you know what, honestly, I'm using an emulator, so I can always use save states, which is what I was using before, but, uh, for our Fire Red, because we couldn't save. But this time we can save, so we might as well. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Ooh, he's mad. Let's see what Faulkner's name is. Dancer Zoe. Pidgey. Oh, that's kind of lame. They didn't randomize it. Or maybe it did randomize it and we just, that's the luck of the draw. Alright, well, we're going to use Confusion. I really probably should have started out with, uh... Wow, wait, level 8? That's really low. And that was a really easy battle. Alright, so we got one down. Already halfway through. Dang, look at that special attack. Look at the special attack, special defense, and speed. All sitting pretty at 33. Unknown. Wow, this was a pretty pathetic gym battle, but it's the first one, so... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't know. Unknown. D unknown. Level 10? Okay, something's not right here. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Was it level 9? Am I thinking of the remakes? Hidden power. What could this be? Hidden power is all dependent on the IVs that you have for your Pokemon. So, ooh, critical hit. Wow. Okay. So, depending on what your IVs are, especially in Gen 2, it, hidden power is really, really dumb. So, nowadays, it's depending on, like, what your IVs are, your individual values. That'll determine what hidden power you have. So, except I think the only hidden powers you can't get are hidden power normal. So, oh, wow, that was weird. 
Was that the sound that a gnome makes when it faints? Wow, that was a buttload of experience. All right, that's it. We did it. Wow. All right, let's wrap up today's. No, I'm just kidding. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. All right, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge, and we got a thousand dollars for that. Da 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 da. Zephyr badge. The Zephyr badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use the Flash. To use the Flash. Use Flash if they have it anytime. Here, take this too. TM31. Ooh, ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be used only once. TM31 can easily. Aw, we already have that. Leech Seed. We already have that. Alright, sweet. I want to see. I know Topanga's uh, attack power was 27 when we leveled up. And I've always wondered this. Like, you know, they say it boosts your speed, it boosts your attack. Um, but I never noticed if that is actually true, and I don't think it is. Yeah, see, we're still sitting at 27. I don't think... I don't know. That's just something I want to research on Bulbapedia. Wow, that was embarrassing. I yawned. No, oh, hello, Prince Charming. The kids, what? We discovered something about the egg. And my assistant is at the Pokemon Center in the Vile City. Could you go talk to him, please? Click. Oh, uh, I forgot just how annoying that voice is. <laughs> so let's go ahead. We're going to head back to the Pokemon Center because we have to heal. And we also have something very special awaiting us. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes, we're going to heal. Alright, there we go. Speed up. No problem with speeding up if it's for healing Pokemon. Oh, Prince Charmander, long time no see. Professor Ohm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Sure, why not? We got an egg. Which we can hatch to get a new encounter. Well, a new Pokemon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's randomized. Normally it's a Togepi, but we'll see. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Prince Charmander, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Ohm when that egg catches. Alright. Normally, by the time you start walking and stuff, and, uh... You would, uh... Get the egg to hatch by the time you hit, like, Golden Rod City. But I'm impatient, and we have speed up, so... Uh... Doo -doo. Gonna hatch this egg, hatch this egg, hatch this egg. Yeah, so normally it's a Togepi, but... I randomized it, so hopefully it'll be something good. Can you map? What could it be? What could it be now? I wonder, can I... Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see. What's an easier way to... Up, down. I think this is longer. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Oh, boy. This is fun. This is fun. It's like watching grass grow, but instead we're watching an egg hatch. In fact, let's check the egg. Let's see how far along we've gotten. Moves around and out. Must be close to hatching. Ooh! Ooh! Alright, let's keep going. Ah, oh, come on, really? Is this the little boy I carried? When did he grow to be so tall? I think this way is faster. I thought that my singing would help the egg hatch, but nope! Nope, we're still walking around in Violet City. Oh, come on. Come on. Boy, this is going to add some time onto our clock. Ah, oh, there we go! Ha ha! Alright. What could it be?
And I'm even more disappointed that disappointed did not fit. But we have... Oh, we wasted all that time. Well, it wasn't even that much time, but still. Disappoint the Metapod because we have nothing but that feeling right now. I mean... Butterfree is kind of a cool Pokemon, but... Um... It doesn't learn really any Bug-type moves or anything like that. If this was like... 5th Gen Butterfree, I would totally do it, but... Disappoint. And it's all in, uh... Did I spell Disappoint wrong? Disappoint? I don't care. I'm just... I don't care. I don't care right now. <laughs> so... Like, it can't even learn... It doesn't know... It can't learn Bug Buzz. It can't learn Struggle Bug. It can't learn Quiver Dance. It's just... No. No. It's okay. I will pass on the Butterfree. So... Now that we got that taken care of... We're on to Route 32, which means more encounters! You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave him around Violet City. Training in the gym, yada yada yada. He's supposed to give us the uh, Miracle Seed. Alright, so once Celebi learns uh, Peabody, I mean. Peabody learns a Grass-type move that'll actually give it Stab. We can uh, slap that on it. Ooh, but first... Our first encounter for Route 32 is... Oh, Blossom! Well... Oh, that was weird. I just made a weird, awful sounding noise. First off, we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, but it's a Sunstone Evolution, so it's not gonna learn any moves. No, that's what I was gonna do! I was gonna paralyze you, Blossom! Uh, let's see... Sunspore again? Alright, whatever floats your boat, Blossom. Alright, so we're gonna paralyze you. Oh, I don't trust the Pango. We've already we've already been through this too many times. Ursula. Now, Constrict is the weakest move in the game. Weaker than tackle, weaker than scratch, weaker than pound, weaker than anything you could think of. So Constrict should do nothing. Awesome. Okay, we're not using Water Gun. We're going for Constrict. We're going for Constrict. We're going to Constrict this flower till there is nothing left. And let's absorb. Okay, let's, uh, critical hit. Come on. All right, Ursula, Constrict. Bind and Constrict. All right, I think one more ought to do it. Oh. Mm. Why, 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 why? Ursula, why? Okay, they're both paralyzed, so that's okay. All right, Constrict. Rip and tear. Speed fell? I didn't know, I didn't know Constrict could lower speed. Alright. Well, no more you know. Oh, do I have Pokeballs? Oh, no! I didn't buy any Pokeballs! Oh, I should have checked! I knew it! Alright, well, this is it. It's all or nothing. It's better than having none. Alright, well, not only did we get a Metapod for our egg, but we can't even catch the Blossom. I mean, Blossom's not bad. I would have liked to have had a Blossom. He knows Petal Dance! Why me? Oh, boy. Speed up. Come on, speed up. Speed up. Ah! All right, there we go. All right, well, lesson learned. You always make sure you're prepared. Be prepared. It's the scout way. And we have more than enough money for Pokeballs. You fool! Oh, my goodness. All right, 10 balls. We're going to buy 10 Pokeballs. They do not give you any money in this game. All right, we're just going to go ahead and we'll sell this. We've got three potions, two antidotes. Uh, we've got a smoke ball. A lot of good that's going to do. All right, well, that's it. That's really all we can do. All right, well... Oh, shoot, we should heal. Remember, speed up's okay if it's healing. There we go. All right. There we go. So let's get back on track. I'm so utterly bummed that we did not get a Blossom. Especially because it knows Petal Dance. Hot damn! Look at that Steelix! 
Look at her! That is amazing. I would love a Steelix. Steelix is cool. Steelix is loud. That, what was that? What was that that just spewed out of my mouth? Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll switch out. We'll have Ursula in front because, poor thing, she still only knows two moves. Uh, let's hurry up and battle. Uh, let's battle. Send out Ladyba. Water gun. We're speeding up because I want to get to the next part of the town so that way we can get another encounter. Ooh, Diglett. Water gun. Blah. There we go. Hup, hop over this, and we're going to talk to this fine young lady right here who is on the phone. Darn kids these days on their telephones. Probably playing that Pokemon Go. Developer Donna. Horsey. Oh, shoot. Okay, we can't do anything against... Oh, you know, well... There's no abilities, so it doesn't have water absorb or anything. And I don't even think... Oh, Packers drop, really? Oh, it's missing now. Oh, it's missing now. There we go. Goodbye, Donna. And she's gonna ask for our phone number so we can talk. Oh, no, shoot. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. There we go. Because these people bother you with the most outrageous things. Ooh, a free item. A black belt. All right, so if we find any fighting Pokemon, we're set. Oh, boy. It's another Blossom. Ah, Palitoad. Little Politoed. Look at him. I actually like Politoed. Never really used it either. But he's cute. He's a cute little cute little frog. No, I saw him! And I just, I complete, I completely did everything to not avoid him. I went right into him. I was like, here, battle me. I have nothing. Hop it. Oh, look at Hop it. Yeah. Alright. So. I think we can get... I think there's only one more encounter, and that's in the cave. So we'll get another encounter, and then um, we'll wrap up today's episode, and then we'll pick up with uh, entering into Azalea Town for possibly our second badge. Oh, come on, Ursula. There you go. Add a girl. Depending on what encounter we get, I might just do some grinding to see. Do we have our town map? Oh, shoot. We don't have the town map. Because big old uh, Charminder was like, Oh, I know the Johto region like the back of my hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so dumb. Sometimes I, I wonder. Body toad. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, can we avoid you? Can we avoid you at all costs? Why are you fidgeting? Right, there we go. Woo! Oh, how would you like to have this tasty, nutritious snowpoke? Snowpoke? I can't even talk. Slowpoke tail! For you right now, just one million dollars. You want this? Heck no. That is outrageous. You don't want it? Then scram! Shoot! Get out of here. Get out of here, you little punk. Alright, so. There's a trainer right here. Let's see. Union Cave, that's what it is. So the Union Cave. This Yun Yun. Alright, so we're in Union Cave. Which means we get another encounter, so. Let's see. <laughs> First encounter survey says... Ah! I want her! Look at that sprite! That sprite is gorgeous! Alright, let's go water gun. Oh wait! Oh wait, no! No, no, wait, wait! Eat up, Tyranitar! <laughs> I can't have nice things! Oh my god! Why? Why? Oh, I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. No. No! No! Okay, Google. Now, let me see. Where's... 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 Uh... Uh... Oh! I hate myself! Why? I don't want to do this LP anymore. That's it. The LP's over. 
That's it. We're, we'll do it live. Oh, no. Shoot. I Google. All right. Let's see. Just to give myself uh, a little bit a, I guess, to make me feel better, I'm just going to Google Tyranitar Generation 2 Learn Set. It was level 5. So, Tyranitar knows Bite, Leer, Sandstorm, and Screech. It learned Sandstorm at level 8. Screech at level 15. So, the next move we would have gotten was at level 22, which would have been Rock Slide. Then it learns Thrash, Scary Face, Crunch, Earthquake, and Hyper Beam. So bad! I just want to go in there and catch it. Ah! But that's breaking the rules. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> if Arceus wants us to have it, and a Tyranitar will pop up. Oh, nope, nope, it's not meant to be. Oh my God! We lost a Tyranitar because I'm an idiot. episode except for metapod oh my goodness all right that's it guys well i hope you enjoyed today's episode because i sure didn't that oh why why <laughs> oh tyranitar oh! well all right we're gonna save we're gonna save i'm not gonna be i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna save state i'm not gonna do anything we missed out on tyranitar that's all we can do that's that's the game that's the game that's the rules i put and that's it well, so if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, leave a comment telling me how dumb I am or how cool it would have been to have a Tyranitar or even a Blossom. But anyway, thank you guys for the support and I hope to see you guys next time because who knows what other dumb things I'm going to do for episode 5. But uh, if you want to be alerted when we have episode 5 and see all the crazy shenanigans we get into on our way to Azalea Town without a Tyranitar, I'm, I just, this is like... The Venusaur, I could have, like, I can totally let go. But Tyranitar, because it's just, it's such a good Pokemon. We would have had two Pseudos on the team. But still, maybe that's a little bit of overkill. But it was fully evolved, too. And anyways, that's it. That, I'm, I, I digress. Subscribe, so that way you can join us on this fun journey through Johto. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Tyranitar. Huh.